I will teach you full chapter of acids and bases in 10 minutes using my personal tricks. I give you guarantee that you will not find all these tricks and mnemonics in any soft or hard format. The first topic is naturally occurring acids. Well, to learn all the naturally occurring acids, I always write food plus acids. Then I teach the personal trick to try on cage. Angeli Ma'am should learn to open very actively. Here T stands for tamarind. This T stands for tartaric acid. O stands for orange. C stands for citric acid. A stands for ant sting. M stands for methanoic acid. S stands for sour milk. L stands for lactic acid. T stands for tomato. O stands for oxalic acid. V stands for vinegar. And A stands for acetic acid. So the first one is the fruit, and the second one is the acid present in it. Thus, using this trick, we can easily learn all the natural occurring acids. Thus, note down the list of food and acids found in them. Now, coming to the main topic, what are acids? Well, according to Arrhenius' concept, those substances which donate hydrogen ion. Are called acids. For example, consider hydrochloric. We know that hydrochloric can donate hydrogen ion, so we say that hydrochloric is an acid. Now, how can we learn the list of famous acids? Well, to learn this, let me teach you my personal trick. I always say A, B, C cannot start homework properly. Here, A stands for acetic acid. B stands for boric acid, C stands for citric acid, C stands for carbonic acid, N stands for nitric acid, S stands for sulfuric acid, H stands for hydrochloric acid, P stands for phosphoric acid. So this is the list of all important acids which we study in the chemistry. Here let me teach you one important point. Remember that All these acids have hydrogen ion. Let me repeat it. All these acids have hydrogen ion. So hydrogen ion is the best indicator of acid. Thus also noted down this important list of acids. The second main topic is what are bases? Well, according to Arrhenius concept, those substances which can donate hydroxide ion are called bases. For example, consider sodium hydroxide. We know that sodium hydroxide can easily donate hydroxide ion, so we say that sodium hydroxide is a base. Now, how can we learn the list of important bases? Well, I use my personal trick. I always write metals plus hydroxide ion always form bases. For example, consider group one elements like sodium, potassium, rubidium. Consider group two elements like magnesium, calcium, and group three elements like iron, copper, zinc. Now, with group one elements, I write hydroxide ion like sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, rubidium hydroxide. With group two elements, I write two hydroxide ion. Like magnesium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide, and with group three elements, I also write two hydroxide ion, like iron hydroxide, copper hydroxide, zinc hydroxide. So all these metals containing hydroxide ions form important bases. Thus, this is the list of all important bases. Here, let me teach you one important point. Remember that. All the bases have hydroxide ion. Let me repeat it. All the bases have hydroxide ion. So the hydroxide ion is the best indicator of bases. Thus note it down this important trick. Now coming to the third topic. What are salts? Well, when acid plus bases react together, they form salt. For example, hydrogen chloride plus sodium hydroxide react together. To form sodium chloride plus water. Remember that here the metal part of the base like sodium and the negative part of acid like chlorine 
they will react together to form a salt like sodium chloride while the hydroxide ion of the base and the hydrogen ion of the acid would react together to form water remember that this whole reaction is known as neutralization reaction now how can we remember the important salts well metal plus ions usually form salts consider this cat i always say that cute cat so nice c stands for chloride ion like potassium chloride c stands for carbonate ions like calcium carbonate S stands for sulfate ion like magnesium sulfate N stands for nitrate ion like sodium nitrate so if metal contains chloride ion carbonate ion sulfate ion or nitrate ion they are usually the salts so remember this important trick about salts also let me teach you one bonus question how to identify acids bases and salts well consider this list Now we know that acids contain hydrogen ion, base contain hydroxide ion, and salt contains metals plus ions. So this is acid, this is base, this is salt, this is also base, and this is salt. Thus, using this trick, we can easily identify acids, bases, and salts. Now, what are strong acids? Well. Strong acids are those acids which can completely dissociate or ionize in water and give maximum number of hydrogen ions. For example, consider hydrochloric acid plus water. We know that hydrochloric acid completely ionizes into hydrogen ion plus chlorine ion. So this is strong acid because it completely ionizes into hydrogen ion plus chlorine ion. Now how can we remember important strong acids well i always say not so hard this n stands for nitric acid hno3 s stands for sulfuric acid h2so4 h stands for hydrochloric acid hcl now what about the weak acids well those acids which cannot completely dissociate or ionize in water and give lower number of hydrogen ions such acids are called weak acids for example consider acetic acid when we dissolve acetic acid in water it partially dissociate in water or we can say that it can only ionize up to 1.3% so it doesn't ionize is completely in the water that's why we call it as a weak acid Now how can we remember the important list of weak acids well i always use the trick father can always spare f stands for formic acid c stands for carbonic acid a stands for acetic acid p stands for phosphoric acid so this is the list of weak acids remember that we have already learned about the concept of strong species and weak species Now we can easily learn strong bases and weak bases. Remember that strong bases are those bases which can completely ionize in water and give maximum number of hydroxide ion. The trick to remember the list of strong bases are baby can swim properly. B stands for barium hydroxide, C stands for cesium hydroxide, S stands for sodium hydroxide. P stands for potassium hydroxide so this is the list of strong bases on the other hand those bases which cannot completely dissociate are ionize in water and give lower number of hydroxide ion are called weak bases the trick to remember the list of weak bases are can i always love zebra here c stands for copper hydroxide i stands for iron hydroxide A stands for ammonia, L stands for lead hydroxide, and Z stands for zinc hydroxide. So this is the list of important weak bases. So note it down these important points. Remember that I will skip some very easy topics like indicator, pH scale, importance of pH scale, which we have already learned in primary school. Now we will learn about water of crystallization. well 
The presence of water molecules and salt is called water of crystallization. For example, like blue vitriol, green vitriol, white vitriol. Blue vitriol is copper sulfate which contain 5 molecules of water. Green vitriol is iron sulfate which contains 7 molecules of water. White vitriol is zinc sulfate which also contains 7 molecules of water. So remember that water of crystallization is the salts which contain molecules of water. Lastly, let me teach you some important salts, their name, common name and uses. The first important salt is sodium chloride. The common name of sodium chloride is common salt. In daily life, we use sodium chloride for seasoning purpose and in different food. The second important salt is calcium carbonate. The common name of calcium carbonate is limestone and it is used in construction of building. The third important salt is calcium sulfate. The common name of calcium sulfate is plaster of Paris. It is used in cement industry. The fourth important salt is bicarbonate. The common name of bicarbonate is baking soda. It is used as a baking powder and it is also used in manufacturing of glasses. The last important salt is sodium carbonate. The common name of sodium carbonate is washing soda and it is used as a detergent. Thus note it down this important list, common names and uses of salts. I hope that you have learned all about the acids, bases and salts.